And yes, I got the chance to catch up with Stan and Tasha Holloway here in Paris. They landed yesterday from Hampton Roads, and they are about to welcome about 20 family members and friends here in the City of Light to all cheer on Grant as he starts his competitions in his second Olympic Games. They were able to meet up with Grant in person earlier today before we talked. They said he appears strong and confident and focused and relaxed right now. At some point tomorrow, he will pretty much lock himself down is how they put it. He will just get into this zone where he will start to focus and he knows what he will need to do. Tasha, his mom, told me the nerves haven't quite hit her yet, but at some point they will. She also told me that they recently found a card from when Grant was in elementary school, and he wrote out his goals, and one of his goals was to be an Olympian. He achieved that goal, of course, back in Tokyo when he won the silver medal in the 110-meter hurdles, but this time is different because his parents are here. His support system is here, and here's what Stan and Tasha told me about that and, and what it means to them. He fulfilled that goal in 2020, but we weren't really able to experience it with him. So in some ways, this is um, fulfilling that lifetime goal of his, making a dream come true for us. It is a great experience. It's priceless. Mm -hmm. it's, you, you can't put a uh, dollar amount, you can't put a fill, filling, um, it's priceless. One of the, one of the Feelings that hey, you, you know you're blessed to um, be a part of, and there's no other way to describe it. I can't imagine having a child compete at the Olympics. The stress, the range of emotions you must feel, and we always appreciate the Holloways giving us an insight, a little peek into what that experience is like for them. Stan also told me he and Grant have talked now. Grant is no longer running for himself. He's running for Hampton Roads in the 757. He's running for Team USA, for his alma mater. He is really representing so many people, and I think what really is emblematic of that is the fact that he was voted as one of the team captains for track and field here in Paris. It's Grant and Sidney McLaughlin Lebroni. Both of them are hurdlers. Both are great represent representatives of Team USA and they actually were both up for the Bowerman, the track and field biggest award for track and field back in 2018 in college. So very exciting. Tom, the first round of the 110 meter hurdles, it'll happen over three days. First round is Sunday morning, 11.45 Paris time, 5.45 in the morning back home in Hampton Road. So if people are up early, they can watch it. Of course, it will re-air on Wavy TV 10. I think the 757 will be wide awake on that day. Thank you, Lena.